The Boise City Council is considering a resolution that condemns white nationalist and white supremacist groups in the capital city. And you may wonder why this is actually necessary. Well, the group spearheading this sanction, United Vision for Idaho, says there has been an increase in the number of white nationalist groups in Idaho over the last two and a half years. So its goal is to keep bias and hate from spreading even further. Misty England spoke with the city and United Vision today. Learn more about this, Misty. Well, the city tells me that this resolution is not about any specific problem in Boise. It's about the bigger picture of taking a stance against nationwide hate crimes. This is one of the greatest existential threats that we face in our time. Um, and you don't have to go very far to see the escalation of violence that is erupting as a result of white nationalism and white supremacist rhetoric. It's for that reason that United Vision of Idaho approached Mayor Dave Beter about the city speaking out against white nationalists, white supremacists and other extremists who promote violence and hate in society. Because Boise is seen as a welcoming city and advertises as such, United Vision felt the resolution was a good fit. The internet has opened up an entirely different situation. What we're actually seeing now is that there is a hotbed of white nationalist activity happening in eastern Idaho. And so it's no longer relegated to the places that we thought it was. And as our capital city, it's very, very important that we set the model for what is accepted and what is tolerated. In short, the resolution going before city council reads, quote, condemning and denouncing bias and hate in all of its forms, committing to ensuring civil and human rights are afforded to all individuals in the city of Boise and reaffirming Boise's commitment to peace, respect, inclusivity and equity for all. Mayor Beter says he fully supports approving the resolution. In a memo attached to the language of it, Beter tells city council members he approves it because, quote, I believe it aligns well with our previous resolutions and policies, all centered around Boise being an inclusive and kind city. In recent years, the city has passed similar resolutions, including one in 2017 condemning the acts of white supremacists in Charlottesville, Virginia. And back in 2012, the city also passed an ordinance to prevent discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. You know, most people understand that this kind of hate is only intended to divide us. You know, I work with Idahoans all over the state, and I will tell you, this is not who we are. People do want to come together. The full text of that resolution details a lot of different groups, including indigenous people, those of a different race, sex or religion, also refugees and members of the LGBTQ community. Now, if Boise does pass this resolution, it will be the third city in the Pacific Northwest to do so. Gretchen. All right, thanks, Missy. And the council will take up that resolution at Tuesday's uh, noon city council meeting.